yourself down here a while. Any of you heard of Norman Deke? He's one mean son bitch. He runs with the Williamson gang. Or rather, I should say, he ran with Bill Williamson. He ain't gonna be running with no one no more. How extraordinary. Turns out there was a shootout in old Mercer Station between some of Williamson's gang and the marshal from Armadillo. Do tell. That prick Deke only went and got himself arrested. <laughs> Not long till they hang him, I reckon. Please, go on. That's some story. Bye now. Come on!
Let's go! So sorry, sir. Forgive me, friend. I know. Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon, and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there? 
and see if you can advise him how best to proceed. What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend.
Bowser looks as wild as a hornet in a pail. Good luck to you, son. He's a wild one, and no mistake. Impressive, son. Good job.
Watch yourself there. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait! I beg you! Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day! Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your <gasps> Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh.
He was awful rough to me. Why can't all men be like you? you ever... I couldn't just pass by and let him kill you. I never... What have we got here? Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Then let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now, you'll need more than talk with that bitch. Why are you still here? Again, it'll Excuse me, miss? Er, Rose? If that useless, whoremongering bastard sent you, get lost! Miss, please. If only... You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. in your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been in Armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella, you know. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? <laughs> what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fellas Rest. Yep. That's where he'd be, I guess. I hope you got some iodine handy. Careful there, friend. Hey, watch your step, buddy. You should be more careful. That ain't polite.
Thank you. Let's go!
Come on.
sorry about this, partner. No good piece of dirt. Thank you. Thank you. 
might need your horse, mister. Thank you, sir. I'll pray for you. That kind of thing don't concern me. Hi, hi, how you do? Coming with me, friend. some armadillo justice for sure. <clears throat> you ever wonder how great it must have been out here before the rail ruined it all?
Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name's Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that, then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. Partner? Come! Master! How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and loot from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrite! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care, none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living any way? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Have you looked in the caves, then? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that hat looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who will do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map that is. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. 
used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. There's no difference between night and day. Whoa. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. This is one god awful assignment. Don't you lay your finger on them boys. <laughs> getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! Just leave me alone! You ain't that damn ball! This ain't none of your business! Mister! Who do you think you are, mister? <laughs> oh. Seth lost his mind a long time ago. <sighs> you son of a bitch, let me go! You just wait till I get loose, mister. <sighs> just name your price. <sighs> Seth did sell his own mother.
What's he paying you? I'll give you double. <laughs> Did you think I would find you, Moses? Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisting little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece! <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Uh, Ain't never uh, cut into a uh, live uh, one before. Uh, 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 odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh! Come on, we can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh! Come on, ain't no time to be wasting. Hello. Go on, then. You can clear it out the desk. I need to clear my name. This should do it. Come on! Just Press give him that pardon, Larry, so we can get out of here! So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister! Climb right up. Hang on to your artillery. McFarland's ranch, please. Why don't you just pull that salt ladder down and get to the cutout? 